Hey. Hey. We hear the uh, Boy Scouts have filed for bankruptcy. Okay. That's sad. You know, a lot, lot of kids grew up in the Boy Scouts. I was in Indian Guides when I was a kid. I don't know. Is Indian Guides even still a thing? It's probably not PC anymore. So, you know, anyway. Uh, but, you know, what the heck. Um, so, anyway. I was thinking, we were thinking the other day, Boyt Scouts, bottom of YouTube, B-O-Y-T Scouts. Now, everybody keeps debating whether the Boyt is still a thing or not, but I think it is. You can call it whatever you want to call it. You can say it exists, you can say it doesn't exist, but it's still a thing, I think. Boyt, bottom of YouTube Scouts. You know, we could get some shirts, you know, little shirts. We could have like little ranking things, like you get badges, badges. Everybody needs one. <laughs> Everybody needs a Boyt badge. We could have badges, you know, like, uh, you know, I don't know, you know, troll badges, tro different troll levels, you know, troll extreme, troll novice, I don't know, something like that. And you earn badges. Dox, doxing badges, you know, for spreading people's personal information. You know, you get little, you know, I, I don't know. We, we could do that. We could have meetups. We could have campouts. You know, uh, we could have a Boyt meetup in Pigeon Forge in June, you know. I don't know. You know, um, you know there's certainly enough p possible people that could be in the Boyt, you know. I mean, we got... Uh, Ron, <laughs> Lion, uh, what's his name? Supreme Leader, me, Crotchy, Doxy, uh, Aaron, Chad, um, Anthony. You know, we could have honorary Boyt members like like uh, like Adam, who's now a big TV star. Uh, we got uh, you know Jacob. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm missing people. I know I'm missing people. We could have remembering. Boy, members like Roland, no, Ro no, Roland B. Kirkman, I mean uh, Roland Trees. Roland is a current one. Remember Roland Trees. Uh, Kitchy, we could have Kitchy, you know, in the Boyt. Uh, I, I don't know. You know, there's a whole, I'm, I know I'm missing a lot of people's names, you know, a lot of other people's names that, that are in the Boyt. Of course, Lou. Lou would be an honorary member. <laughs> oh, man. And do, Lou and do. So, yeah, you know, the Boyt, the Boyt, <laughs> the Boyt, the Boyt, um, the Boyt Scouts. How about it? What do you, what do you think? <laughs> um, yeah. Speaking of Boyt, look at this. Of course, Chad the Swedes would be in the Boyt. And of course, uh, look at this. We got the dancing Swedes today. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna ramp down the music. I'm, I don't know about the copyright on that. It's you know whether you paid for it or not. But we got the dancing uh, Swedes here. Isn't this cool? And uh, after you watch this, which is goes about a minute and so, uh, there's a lovely holiday message at the end. You know, it's very it's very buoyant. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, yeah. All right, very nice. I like it. Yes. See, Chad always gets angry because I don't do a lot of, I don't mention his channel enough, you know, and I thought, well, you know, I, I don't really focus on the boy too much anymore, but uh, here's, here's his channel. Go subscribe to it. He's just at a, a million subs. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> thousand subs. But anyway, it's a good channel. He's got a, a crazy sense of humor, and we like him, and... Uh, Wherever he's living today. I don't think he's still in Colorado, but I don't want to dox him. But uh, anyway, uh, so anyway, yeah, doggy dog, dumpsters, lumpy in the dumpsters, or the dumpers, excuse me. Anyway, he does some nice chats. He's a cool cat. He's been around forever. You know, he's uh, always been here. He's, he's probably one of the uh, pillars of the Boyd, you know? Other people that should be in the Boyd, of course, we should, Mark Fun Jones, Kentucky Ranger, uh... You know, I think Nomadness Life should be in the Boyd. I think she's, uh, I, you know, she's been doing live streams just about every couple times a day now. But, uh, you know, she definitely has a, a bottom of YouTube uh, 
essence about her. You know, I, definitely Blue Van Dan, uh, you know, and his, you know, and Lori, and uh, you know, he, the other person he sees occasionally. You know, they're all still Boyd. Look at this, Mr. Bagate changed his. Uh, see now, listen, I've been calling him that. I've been calling him Mr. Bugatti because the bot probably doesn't like the B-I-G-O-T name, right? I've been calling him that, Mr. Bugatti. He's definitely Boyd. Changed his name to uh, Black... What What the heck? There's an ad here. I don't want to see that. Black Bugatti. Hey, hey, hey. my trashy van, YouTube, is your host with the most Black Bigot. It's now Black Bugatti. I've been calling him that. I say Mr. Bugatti. I'm wondering, hey, what happened to the name? It used to be Black Big and now you're Black Bugatti. Well, if you guys haven't been on my channel for too long, I have actually been thinking about changing my name for the better part of two years now. <laughs> the only reason why I haven't done the name change three months ago was because I just got these damn stickers printed. That's right. I was going to sell them and I was selling them, but none of you really bought any. You guys bought like 20 of them. So with that said, uh... I was like, well, I got 300 stickers to put up around the country. I'm like, let me put up some stickers, and then I'll change my name. And let me tell you the point where it hit me that it was time to change my name for once and for all. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting. I was talking to that one black dude, right, the one that had the gun. And it was a good interview, man. I, I, asked him, I had to delete the stream because I had because I actually like showed some chicks tits. She had like pasties on, but you know, I didn't want the robots. To you know, Germany, Germany, Germany. So I deleted the stream and I forgot to, I forgot about that interview. But while I was talking to him, he goes, yeah, what's your name? I'm like, oh, my name? He's like, yeah, what's your name? Like, a black bigot. And it, it felt so stupid. And let me just tell you guys something really quick. I am really no longer black bigot because the, the name and the channel was really predicated on just pissing people off and having people think that I'm a racist uh, without having to really listen to me and listen to my, my thought process and my ideas and who I really am as a person, you know? All right, yeah, exactly. I, it's exactly right. First off, you know, you know, he's not terribly black. He has beautiful blue eyes, you know. Well, you do see some black folks with blue eyes, but, you know, he just, you know, he's admitted that, you know, he's, he does, he's definitely not 100% black, okay? So there, okay, you know, which is cool. I like, it. he's a very handsome dude, <laughs> but he's not a bigot. He ain't a bigot. He's not, he's a very, you know, he does like Trump. He's, he's a very Trump liking person, but, but when it comes to the races, he seems to be very open minded and very, op you know, he likes people. He likes everybody. He really does. He's a very open minded person. And, uh, you know, and we like him, you know, and he's so he really isn't the B-I-G-O-T. And, and he's, you know, he did send me some of his stickers and I'm just going to put one on my car because I like his channels. He has many different channels. You know, he does, uh, goes around cemeteries these days and hangs out a lot. But, but, but I'm not putting this, people are going to understand that black B I G G he has a G G O T. People aren't going to understand that sticker. Somebody's going to think I don't like black people if they if I put that sticker on my car and somebody's going to smash my windows in or vandalize my vehicle. You know, black Bugatti. Yeah, I might put that sticker on my car. Okay, that that one I might do. I, I, now that's a nice freeze frame, isn't it? It was really a troll name. And. As the channel has kind of changed a little bit, and I want to go into a different um, aspect of YouTube. Now, don't get me wrong. I like busting balls, and I like talking shit, or oh, yeah, okay. what have you. And he, likes, and he also likes dropping the F-bomb, okay? If you're trying to grow your channel, if you're trying to get money, uh, monetization, you can't keep dropping the F-bomb. You got to stop it. Even though it's cool, you sound cool doing it. Uh, F this, F that, F that, F this, F that. You can't do that. You gotta, you gotta say no. You, no F-bombs. That's YouTube's you rule. Know, I also want to do other things. Uh, I want to do hood videos. Uh, I want to do in street interviews. Uh, I, I, you know, I want to do some kind of vlogs. Only reason right now why I haven't been hitting that full force is just because the other channel takes up a lot of my time and I'm 
full force on that other channel. The other channel, Lamont at Large, okay, which is the Cemetery Channel. Anyway, so anyway, Black Bugatti changing his name. I think that's a good idea. He said he's stuck at 77,000 subs. We used to be neck and neck in terms of subs. A year or two ago, we were like, you know, he had 8,000, I had 7,500, something like that. And then all of a sudden, he got a couple viral videos. Whoop, one of them was, uh, oh, leaving, leaving, liberal, leaving the libtards in California, something like that. He did a video on that that went millions of views. And uh, <clears throat> like Deborah Joy, he went viral. Like Glenda Sully, he went viral. Yeah, I, I can't get this to stop at a really good, you know, let's get a nice shot of him. There he is. No, no, he looks dour there. It's easy to put my phone on my mount and just... There he is. All right, anyway, so there he is, Mr. Uh, Lamont. I interviewed him two years ago, Springfield, Virginia. He's a nice guy. I really think he's very talented. I've always said he should have been a stand-up comic. He has that mind. He could be a, you know, he could be somebody like that. Uh, I don't know, you know. He, I, 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 but then again, he seems to be kind of a person who likes, doesn't like authority. He doesn't like plugging into the matrix of entertainment. He likes living on his own. He likes, li he actually, I think, really enjoys <clears throat> really enjoys being on the road in his uh, crappy little vehicle there, which is fine. You know, he had the opportunity a year ago to hook up with a really nice lady. Now, I shouldn't use the term hook up because it used to have a different meaning and now it has a different meaning. To hang out with, get close to a really nice lady and her kid. Uh, and, uh, and he could have been daddy and he could have gotten a, a, an apartment and settled down. And he kind of, I think, he, he, he's told me he's, that's just not Bugatti, you know, Bugatti enough for him. So he's made some decisions in his life that have taken him where he is now. And I honestly think he's pretty happy, <clears throat> despite the fact that he doesn't have much stuff, the fact, despite the fact that I think he's a little bit lonely, right? I mean, people that post, people that post like <laughs> 20 times a day, or do live streams for more than 90 minutes, they're lonely. If they if you do it for every, yeah, they, they, they're, they're kind of, they, they see YouTube as their friend and uh, that's, that's okay. But anyway, so anyway, Black Bugatti, check him out, go to Lamont, that's his real name is Lamont, his, his mom named him after that character in Sanford and Son. Hey Lamont! Red Fox, remember Red Fox, oh, I love Red Fox, he's a lot, of, he's a lot like Red Fox. Anyway, but anyway, check him out, uh, Black Bugatti. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get him up to seventy seven point one thousand subs. <laughs> they I'm they don't all watch his video. That's the thing. You get up to these so how many subs? How many subs? And uh, and and they're not watching your videos. So what what good is that number, huh? So <clears throat> I'm subscribed to well over three or four hundred people here, and we're trying to figure out who would be who would I consider in the Boyt. Yeah, you know, saucy, probably, yeah. She's very boitish. Um, of course, life with Aaron. Boger, for sure, absolutely. He is, uh, he's the boit news. <laughs> Lonnie, yeah, he's, he's, de oh, he's definitely boit. Uh, Ron, of, of course. Uh, <laughs> when I put Dan Bell in there, from the olden days, yeah, yeah, the Lion 227, Jimmy the Hobo, he's, hees very, very boy. Slanty, yes, Slanty Ron, it's, it's an Irish pub, you hear that in Irish pubs a lot. Should we put Line Screw, Line Screws kind of fits it, Nomadless Life, Tex, Texaco, uh, we're doing the shout out here, you know, um, who else? D-Dub for sure, I like Rosie, I like her a lot, I think she's kind of boitish. You know, but it's bottom of YouTube. It's it's you know, it's it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a uh, it's an honor. You know, X John Exploration Unknown. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, Lou. <laughs> Whatever happened to Tony Grimm? Is he still around? He was definitely in the Boyd. Um, who else? I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna meet Butterfly Gypsy. Welcome to the Boyd, and we we welcome you with open arms. Okay. Um, 
Oh man, I'm trying to see who else. You know, we could put the art of RVing Mark. He's he's kind of a we we have an induction ceremony for him. Mr. Square Art Puddin. Oh yeah, Puddin Puddin would Puddin would work. <laughs> Moto Life Guy. Uh huh. RV Prepper Wayne. Um, who else? Oh, the germ. <clears throat> now, can you escape the boy once you're in the boy? Well. It's like Adam probably has, you know, I don't think he's really Boyt anymore, but he certainly has his roots in it. Um, <laughs> Unstoppable Morgan, uh, Supreme Leader. Uh, I don't know. Unstoppable Morgan really isn't, I guess. Uh, but anyway, uh, who else? Trey and Trey Beantown. Oh, yes. And Billy, all of Billy's different incarnations. Billy Down Under. Oz TV. I maybe even would throw Camp Goer 1 in there because of some of the comments I've seen her make on some other people's channels. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Steaming Bean. Mm, Bama Mike. Bama certainly has his... Uh, so yeah, Gl Glenda Sully, absolutely, and some of the other... Uh, Wonderful women like Deborah Joy and stuff that we hear a lot about, and uh, you know, make, do a lot of Zen Quest. I don't know about her. Uh, you know, Wayward Man, hmm. Dave 2D certainly has a certain quality about him. Uh, yeah, Tony Grimm, whatever. Is Tony still around? Man, we were talking about some folks the other day that I haven't heard of lately. Uh, yeah, Ox. Oh, yes, Mr. Ox. <laughs> He's a very handsome man, by the way. Somebody just sent me his picture. Ferd Felmer, oh yeah. For, hey, Ferd, how are you doing these days, huh? Anyway, we're doing the shout-outs. Mr. Rockford and all of his incarnations. Now, the one thing about a lot of Boyd people, they have a lot of incarnations. The Kennedy Reign. Should we put Christy in there, too, with Jacob? Yeah, you know, I'm, I don't think she's a, a major factor. And Chunky Pumpkin, we haven't heard much from that. Evie Nova. We should definitely, Evie should go in there as honorary member, right? And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, anyway, uh, all the various troll media channels, a.k.a. Uh, Kentucky Ranger there, uh, Jed, Jed, that's his name, Into the Mystery 13 shirt, Time Chaser, <clears throat> Sticker Maker for the Boyd. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so anyway uh yeah boyt the boyt scouts we need to we need to start working on that stormy <laughs> there's a storm coming i you know i i want to say to stormy had a great time princess bubbles of course he he's definitely a member <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, yeah, of course, Roland Orzabal's. I think Kitschy, Anon Hui. Haven't heard much from Anon Hui lately. Uh, that would be uh, very interesting, yeah, anyway. Yeah, people say, Dave, are, you know, I, I still watch the Boyd a lot. I don't spend a lot of time talking about the Boyd RV. Joey, I think, could probably be a nice fit. And then all of Mark Fun Jones' channels and Puppet Jacks and whatever. Uh, and all, yeah, but definitely CR Booger. Molly. Oh, yeah, Molly. Yeah. <laughs> Molly. Mo Molly, me Molly, <laughs> wake up, Molly. I think I got something to say to you. <laughs> I think Backroads Nomad <clears throat> would probably be a new candidate we could add to it, too. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> whatever happened to Sean Rockenbox? Is he still around? He would uh, kind of a uh, Kentucky Outback. <laughs> Rip Snorton. Wally and Tony. <laughs> <coughs> now, I want to apologize. Bubba, oh, Bubba, definitely Bubba Warbucks. You know, a lot of these people, I'm going to, um, <clears throat> I, I would nom even nominate Hobotech for it, I think, because he's kind of the, he's kind of the uh, product pitchman of the boy. Remember Geezer? Whatever happened to Geezer in Delaware? Is he still, uh, is he still out and about, or has he been uh, incarcerated? I don't know, but anyway... <laughs> Should we throw Angela M into the boy? Uh, probably. And, and of course, Nomadic Fanatic. You know, he's kind of the, you know, probably, you know, he, yeah, yeah. 
I think we should uh, definitely, you know, there are certain nomads that do definitely have boytish characteristics. Uh, so anyway, I don't know. I think we're getting to the point here where I think that's all I need to do. Right. Anyway, that should do it. So other nomads that are in the boy. Yeah, there's quite, there's quite a few of them. I'm not going to get into all the different ones, but uh, definitely Eric. Um, probably Kevin to a certain degree. <laughs> definitely Mike. E, <laughs> living free. So anyway, so anyway, just wanted to do a quick little Boyt thing update today. Let's think about the Boyt Scouts, okay? We could do a whole cool thing on that. We could have t-shirts. Um, yeah. The Boyt does live. You want to deny it. It's still there. Sometimes it kind of goes underground for a while. Sometimes it pops back up. Sometimes it flares up and there's big, you know, and we still have some skirmishes, Boyt skirmishes going on right now. Uh, you know, with the Ox and Oz and Lion and Do and, you know, that kind of thing. And Mark. Oh, Mark's always there. So, anyway. All right. So, let me know. Bo Boyd Scouts. <laughs> All right, folks. That's about it for today for this morning's video. And don't forget to watch my Saturday show every Saturday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. we got Crouchy's birthday. And uh, maybe we'll talk some more about the Boyd Scouts. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. And again, I know I left some people's names out. I mean, I know I, there were some, oh, you didn't mention blobbity blob and blobbity blob and blobbity blob. Um, you know, I do a geographical thing in my head. Uh, oh, um, 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 what's his name? The guy in Rhode Island. Um, um, oh, can't think of his name. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> he, does, he does a nice channel and, and he can't get any views and we've, you know, but anyway. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Oh, Stingray! Ba, 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 ba. See, I'm going to leave people out, and everybody's going to say, you didn't mention so-and-so, you didn't mention so-and-so, you didn't mention so-and-so. Can't, can't leave Stingray out and all of his different incarnations either. Uh, <laughs> Rod Sturgis. See, um, they're all now flooding into me, and I'm going, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I do a, a geographic memory thing anyway. All right, folks. The Boyt, whether you like it or not, it it's still around. <laughs>